Page 10, The Waltz King. They're referring to Johann Strauss Jr. He wrote a lot of waltzes. This, he wasn't the only Strauss to write waltzes. I mean, they, they wrote other things besides, but he is known mainly for the waltzes. And this piece is sort of a medley of different waltz melodies he wrote. A medley, in case you're not sure, is a, where they take multiple melodies from multiple pieces and they stick them together. So at the beginning, you have an introduction for the first few lines. That's, that's your introduction. And then it goes into the first melody. Etc. And then at the top of page 11, you see the double bars in the middle of the line. Well, that's the a next melody because the the major right before the double bars is sort of a bridge between them. It connects them together. As we're changing keys, now we're going to go here. Etc. And then that melody goes to the end of the third line. You see the double bars again? And then when we get down to the fourth line, we're in this melody. I don't agree with this notation at all. They've got that little grace note. That little, is a grace note. I think in most cases you're going to hear it as a 16th note leading into it, so it's that one. I recommend you play that as a 16th note, not as a grace note. And then those are the melodies, so that's how I recommend you play the, the little note. Left hand just has the broken chord accompaniment. Pretty much throughout, it's no big deal. Dynamic wise, you can follow their dynamics, it adds a lot to the music. Just, they say start out loud. But when you start the the piece, don't don't do that loud. Come come down, because you, you got to crescendo up. This might be loud, but this to here, go to here, go to here. At the bottom again, start the beginning of that crescendo. Come down, get soft. Top of page 11, second major left hand. I reckon this is the chord, fourth finger on the E. That's the fingering for it. And then you slow down a retardando, and then all tempo means go back to what you were doing, and then it goes on to the next one. That's staccatos. This is tricky on the second line here in the right hand. It's and it's two one because you have up here and you got to reach that. So how do you reach that? Well, rather than a two one, if I'm here, you can you can use any finger you want except one. It could be one. It's up to you which finger you use. Just be aware you got to go from here to here to here quickly. To here. And that's staccato. And then the last one. line first measure. And now, then the th last three measures. Right hand it's I recommend a two four five four and then one three. To 
connect them. I'll talk about the pedal in a minute. But this, that's the figuring I recommend. Is a, as far as the pedal goes, I have some suggestions. Now let's just go through this. At the beginning, in this introduction, it's all legato, and that's fine. So you change the pedal right after you play each note in the first, the first note in each measure. Now here, right before the double bar, I don't pedal that. There's no need to pedal that, and I don't pedal the next measure. I want some silence before I go on. And I don't want to smear those notes, so I'm not going to pedal those, but then I can pedal the last measure. So I'm going to release the pedal as I play the first note in the second line there. Release the pedal at that time. And here is legato pedal. And I, I lift the pedal up before I play the eighth notes. I don't want to, I don't want any smearing, there's no sound in the left hand or nothing, they're by themselves. I want them by themselves on each of these measures. So that second line is this way. And the, the last line is the same type of pedaling. Lift it up when I play the first note and then here. Then. A legato pedal going on to the next page. And the third measure of that I lift up so these are by themselves and then I go on. I'm only pedaling the first two beats because I want to hear the rest in the left hand. Pedaling the last measure is fine. Second line, same thing. Second measure, I'm not pedaling the last beat because I want to hear the eighth notes by themselves. I'm on this style of pedaling throughout. Before I go to the next line, because I want a break in the sound, and then I'll play the little grace note by itself as though it were a pickup beat. And this first two measures are overlapping, but then the third measure, just like they don't pedal that, the first beat of that measure is a staccato. We need it. No pedal. Pedal it just like they're marked. It's fine. Now, you don't need to pedal, and this is the next to the last line, next to the last measure. You don't need to pedal that. But you can go ahead and pedal the last measure. So we catch all that, and the last line lift the pedal up for the second beat. So we get a second beat rest. Rest, then legato pedal, then the, the third to the last measure, don't pedal that. Then you can pedal there. And then the, at the end, the pedal and the hands come up at the same time. Isn't that just lovely? This is a nice piece to play for people, though. They'll enjoy hearing it. Just don't rush these things. You can play them a lot slower than I just did. It's okay, really.